There are four main ways you can use Utero for research. One, retrieving scholarly articles related to your topic. Two, reading and highlighting your scholarly sources. Three, taking notes from your scholarly sources. And four, paraphrasing and citing your scholarly sources. Let's look at first function of Zotero, which is retrieving scholarly articles related to your topic. So our example topic is positive effects of play on child development. So what I like to do is to take my topic as a whole, copy it and paste it on Google and add the word scholarly at the end. Adding the word scholarly instructs Google to only retrieve scholar resources. Remember, when conducting research, you rely on scholar resources. I normally use the criteria of currency. That means I use only sources published within the past five years. In this case, we are in the year 2022. That means we are looking at sources published on or after 2017 up to now. Then I only consider sources published in peer-reviewed journals. So this is our first article. The title is Children's Only Profession, Playing with Toys. Then we come to our second source. Finally, we have our third article here. These are our three articles that we'll use. So what is our next step in using Zotero? So first we open Zotero, that's how it looks. We have the library here and we can create our own library here where our sources will go. I can go and add a new collection or library so we are going to call our collection positive effects of play on child development which is our research topic so let's name our collection here first i name my collection there so the next thing we do is we go back to the sources and we use something we call doi digital object identifier this is the identifier that zotero uses to retrieve scholar resources and we have our doi here or the digital object identifier for our first source we're going to copy it first here then we go to zotero and we use this tool add items by identifier so we paste it here then we press enter you can see zotero does the work of loading the scholarly article first you can see the title the authors the date it was published the journal it was published in the digital object identifier and other important details there and you can also see zotero loads up the pdf here and when we open it later, we can be able to read the source and highlight and do all the other functions of Zotero, which we'll do later. So first of all, let's go back and import all our sources. Our that source has loaded up. So the first step in using Zotero is retrieving scholar resources and we have done just that. Let's look at the second function of Zotero, which is reading and highlighting your scholar resources. So first, Let's come to our imported sources. If you look at the arrow pointing the right side, you'll see there's an arrow there. If you click on that arrow, you see the PDF that Zotero downloads. So we have three PDFs for our three sources. Remember, our topic is the positive effects of play on child development. We open the first source, so we highlight the second and third line. In Zotero, you just highlight and uh, a pop-up will appear that provides you various options of the colors you want to use for your highlight. So I'll highlight it in green. So I want to highlight this section. Again, you just highlight and you choose a color. I'll choose also green because they relate to the other point I highlighted earlier. Use different colors for different points to support your research. That's how you use Zotero to highlight your sources. The third way you use Zotero is to take notes from your scholar resources. If you look at the icons here, we have highlight and we have add notes. So we click on add note and we add notes. We can say this is the first point. We can use the notes section to paraphrase and to summarize this idea. Remember, you avoid plagiarism by internalizing ideas and using your own words to paraphrase and then citing appropriately. So I just made a note there and that's how you take notes using Zotero. Let's go to our fourth function of Zotero, paraphrasing and citing your scholar resources. Let's say you have already highlighted your sources and gotten the main points, and now you want to cite. Remember we have this note we created here, we paraphrased, and I want to cite this second line here. So what I'll do is I'll go to my Word document and look for the Zotero icon on Word. So we we'll first add citations, then we'll add or edit bibliography. So I want to cite using American Psychological Association, APA 7th edition, so I click OK. So what I'll do is I'll type Bento and I'll click Insert. And you can see automatically Zotero populates our in-text citations. 
So let's say I want to cite the second line attributed to another author. So we can check our authors. Again, we go back to Zotero. Check out our second author. And we can see his name is Sane. And we can go back and we want to cite this using the second source, which is Sane. So what we'll do is we look for Sane here. And again, just press enter. And Zotero will automatically populate your source. So we have in-text citation. That's how you put in-text citations. So let's say we wanted to put some references for all the citations we put on our document. So what we do again is go to Zotero. But now we won't add or edit citation. What we'll do is add or edit bibliography. And we click and we can see automatically Zotero will populate our bibliography with all the sources that we cited inside our work. So that's how you cite using Zotero, both for in-text citations and references or bibliography section.